hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business now the last couple of videos it's just been music videos and basically i've just been recording um my music so um so yeah Basically, I have this page called Art and Entertainment Hub on Instagram and also on Facebook. So, um, on this channel, we have a segment, okay, that is called Art and Entertainment. So, those music videos, they're going to be filling that gap, basically, the Arts and Entertainment segment on this channel, okay? Now... Um, I haven't been showing my face on the video. Um, I've just been putting my picture on there because the the songs are not yet to the quality that I want to be, basically. Okay, so but I'm just recording at the moment. So anyway, that's out of the way. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Today is Monday. We are still in march okay today is monday and basically i've just done um school run and then i thought let me come on here and do this video because yesterday i noticed that there are people who watch my videos from south africa so if you are watch if you do watch my videos from south africa you are welcome i hope that the videos on this channel are beneficial to you okay and um and basically there are already um videos business videos for south africa so what you can expect for the south african series is now food and fashion okay in this series food and fashion because they, we already have business uh, videos on in south africa businesses that businesses and investments that you can do in south africa so we've already done those videos so what you can expect is now food and um fashion okay fashion content for the south african series okay so number one um and also thank you that for those of you who are new subscribers thank you so much for having subscribed to the channel um and also to my subscribers thank my old subscribers thank you so much for continuing to watch and also engaging in the comment section thank you so so much okay um this is just an interruption in the um in the recipe videos that i was creating okay so you can keep an eye out for more recipes that will be coming up for the sweet treats book okay but without further ado let us get into today's the rest of today's video i'm going to be sharing with you 15 traditional um traditional south african food that you should try okay the first one being biltong which is basically it's spelled b-i-l-t-o-n-g biltong okay and there is no picture of biltong here but oh yeah there is there is there is there is there is okay all right let me give you a little bit of information about blue uh, and biltong before I actually I don't know why this is frozen. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's Okay. 
Okay, so Biltong looks like this. So this basically is dried meat. So that is Biltong. Um, so Biltong is a staple nourishment. Um, it traces its roots in Zimbabwe, Namibia and modern day South Africa. Biltong is a salty dried meat of hamburger or kudu. Kudu is spe spelled K-U-D-U. -U. Okay. Some ex exotic recipes include ostrich and even a rhino. Okay. The word biltong comes from the Dutch language where bill signifies the ramp and tong signifies the tongue. Chicken biltong and venison biltong are some primary examples. Biltong can be enjoyed both as a stew and a soup. The locals love it both ways and we recommend you try both versions. Let me know in the comment section, okay, if you've tried it as a stew or as a soup. I've seen I've seen it before. Um and I've never tried it though. I've never tried it, but I'd love to try some. Okay, I'd love to try it as stew and I would love to try it as soup. So you can keep an eye out on that. Um, when I get my hands on some of that, okay, I'm gonna check out the Afro Caribbean store. We do have, we do have a few where I live. The second one is Borrowers. Now this is my favorite. I've tried this before. Okay, this is one of my favorites. I've tried this before. Okay, um, borrowers, a prevalent customary South African style sausage or frankfurter, borrowers started in South Africa as well as in Zimbabwe. To qualify as borrowers, the sausage must comprise of at least 90% meat and no less. So it's got good quantity of meat and guys it tastes so yummy so so yummy um and let's see this outstanding nourishment is a thickener than a jumbo sized hot dog and is known to be extracted from a sort of frankfurt made in region to the south of the Adour river in france it could be an interesting experiment to inquire about the origin of the ingredients as the chefs will help you bring around the globe to sell their borrowers Okay, so this is how this is, the borrowers looks like. And it's, I hope, wait, I hope you can see it properly. I don't know whether that is better. But anyway, I hope you can see it. Um, So borrowers is um, spelt B O E R E W O R S. Okay, that's how you spell it. The third one is. Bobo tea. Bubble tea. Bubble tea is a meat loaf with raisins and a prepared egg on top, finding its origin in the Malay Peninsula. 
bubble tea is already generally presented with yellow rice banana cuts and chutney okay the word bubble tea originates from the malay word bo boy boy that implies a blend of different curry flavors the principal formula of bubble tea was found in the dutch cookbook more than 400 years ago in 1609 bubble tea is a super time favorite and curry turmeric and almonds are likewise incorporated into this dish bubble tea has a sweet taste and locals love it love to pair it with any popular hot sauce okay so this is how bubble tea looks like and that's how it looks like the eggs on top okay so that looks quite nice it looks like shepherd's pie <laughs> Okay, and then um, da -da 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 -da. okay, where ha I don't know. I think we have number four bunny chow bunny chow is a simple dish with a die hard fan following a half portion of bread which is dug out and loaded up with heavenly curry this delicious dish comes from durban it is famously known as rabbit and and can be found in the Indian cafes around the major urban centers, for the most part considered as a non veggie lover dish, yet in some cases the curry is made with vegetables and is called as beans rabbit. Okay, this looks, it looks so yummy. Um, let me show you how it looks like. Bunny chow. I'll definitely be trying that out because we do have, um, what's it called? We do have fresh bread and we do have, you know, meat that can be made. So bunny chow is spelled B U W N Y C H O W. Okay. And the vegetarian version is with beans, I believe, because it's called bean rabbit. Um then number five is Quake Sto Quake Sisters. Quake Sisters. Um this local dish is for individuals with a sweet tooth. Quake Sisters is a seared mixture that is contorted or plated and then dunked in the sugary syrup. The name Quake Sisters is taken from the Dutch word quake, which means cake. Okay, so Quake Sisters is um, spelled K O S E K. S I S T E R. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find the picture for it.
um let me see if i can this dish resembles a donut i'll be an extremely sweet and clingy one it is made in cape malay in an alternative way where they add a cake surface to it and move it in parched coconut so this is how quakesters looks like okay that's how it looks like i'll definitely try that out let me know in the comment section if you've tried it that is more like a dessert um and then there is number six which is another dessert it's called malva pudding another sweet delicacy which has a dutch root this sweet elastic apricot pudding is generally made by cape malay individuals as well the pudding has apricot jam added to it oh that, that, that makes me think i should have bought the the apricot jam okay we can get apricot jam i believe there should be some in the stores okay um pudding apricot the pudding has apricot jam added to it which is extremely saucy and has a caramel flavoring added to its supple surface okay at the point when this flavorful pudding is expelled from the stove a cream based sauce is added from the top to further sweeten it believe it or not when south africans say sweet they mean business so this is what it looks like oh it looks like our steamed pudding i really don't think this light is doing much justice to the video but anyway you're gonna have to bear with oh i know what i did sorry guys I know what I did. Basically, I um oh. I dimmed the brightness of this um Okay. I'm just gonna have to do it. Um but anyway, Malva pudding is spelled M A L V A and then pudding is P U D D I N G. Yeah, I'm going to have to sort that out later. I'm going to have to sort that out later. Basically, I dimmed the light on. The screen. OK, number seven is Chakalaka. Chakalaka is a spicy South African vegetable relish that can be served alongside a variety of foods ranging from stews or curries to bread and pap. Okay. Chakalaka preparation style can vary across the regions and also family tradition. Aside from local fresh vegetables, the, the recipe commonly includes beans. Okay. So this is how
this is how it looks like oh my gosh it's not doing it justice but yeah but basically this one is made with beans onions um green sweet peppers tomatoes yeah okay so aside from the local veg fresh vegetables the recipe commonly includes beans tomatoes onion garlic cabbage curry paste and butternut okay so butternut squash it is generally considered as a side dish but the usual generous serving meal that it can be consumed as a standalone meal by itself so you can have it as a side dish or as a meal by itself okay so the other one number eight is milk tart okay okay sorry um chakalaka is felt oh my gosh how does it how do you spell it c h a wait i'm trying to okay c h a k a l a k a okay c h a k a l a k a chakalaka okay number eight is milk tart milk tarts are literally translated as milk tarts and this pie like treat is adored by masses in south africa it has a sweet pastry crust and so this is another dessert okay pastry crust and a smooth filling which is made of milk flour sugar and eggs okay milk tarts um many families personalize their desserts providing slight variations for this dessert all over the country during your time in south africa be sure to try several different kinds of milk tarts as quality milk tarts in south african style are hard to come by anywhere else in the world so if you go to south africa try out milk tarts so milk tarts how you spell it is m e l k t e r t s and basically it's got all my favorites in there all my favorite flavors so i'll be trying that out okay and this is how it looks like Okay. Um, number nine is pot jacos. Okay, which is spelled P O T J I E K O S. Okay, pot jacos is a generic term for a customary South African stew usually made outdoors in a three-legged iron pot called the pod G. Meat and vegetables are added to the stew and cooked for extended periods on coals in pot G. The traditional ingredients include any kind of meat from chicken, lamb, venison or pork combined with vegetables like cabbage, potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, and pumpkin, to name just a few. Pot jokos is prominently prepared during family, social events, and get-togethers. I'll definitely try this out, okay? Uh, a combination of, I'll do the, the chicken one, and then I'll do the lamb one, and then I'll do the pork one. So I'll do those three variations okay so you can expect those because we do have cabbages here we do have potatoes we do have carrots we do have cauliflowers and 
when pumpkin is in season we do have pumpkin pumpkins are normally available like in october times okay and this is what it looks like basically okay it's just a stew a pot of stew da -da 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 -da. Then there is Bokoms, which is spelled B O W K O M S. Bokoms. Bokoms are whole salted mullets, which are tied in a tangle and hang up to dry. Popular in the West Coast in South Africa. These mullets are kept in the sun to dry and afterward eaten in the wake of stripping off their skin. They are often smoked for flavor by some enthusiasts. Often called the fish biltong, bokoms is a selective delicacy and an acquired taste, especially favored by fish lovers. Okay, it can be presented with pastas or soups and paired with selected condiments on offer. Now this sounds nice. I like fish. So, I don't know what kind of fish this is. Oh, it's mullet the fish. Yeah, we do have mullet in the UK. I remember Jamie Oliver, the chef. Shout out to Jamie Oliver. Um, he uses it in his recipes. Now, I have a way of um, drying fish. There's a video for it, but that's tilapia. So I'll see if we have mullet fish um, in the stores. But yeah, and then I'll just um, I'll oven dry it, smoke it basically in the oven. Yeah, because we don't we do have sun here, but we don't. Ha I don't have space to dry it outside. Like <laughs> cats will eat it, or dogs would eat it. So yeah, and then there is Gatsby, as in the movie, the, the Great Gatsby. Okay, um, it's spelled G A T S B Y. Gatsby is a huge foot long sandwich and a very popular street food item in South Africa. The roll is overflowing with delicate fries, absorbed vinegar, egg, spiced steak, frankfurter, and peri peri. Now I we have foot longs sandwiches and it's um oh my gosh I can't remember the I can't remember the company that does it but we have foot long okay now I'll definitely try that out because that sounds so delicious. That sounds so delicious. We have we have peri peri sauce, we have frankfurters, um we have steak that you can spice, uh we have vinegar, we have eggs, we have fries. So this is how the foot long looks and that's it. 
I've tried the foot long. The foot long that I have tried is the one with tuna. Tuna and it has like olives, different um, salads in there. And then I've tried... There's another one, I think beef. And it's got like different things in there. But yeah. Um, then there is pup on sus. Okay, which is spelled P A P E N S O U S. Okay, there's spaces in between each word. Pap on sus. Okay, so pap on sus is a prime is the primary base dish for most food items in this list, and many more in South Africa. Pup is considered a staple in South Africa and is made from ground maize. Pup can come in many forms such as in porridge or balls dunked in sauce. Sauce is the traditional tomato and onion sauce. Okay. The pap on sauce combination is so ambiguous around the country that sometimes it's so hard it's hard for South African to consider their days complete if they fail to eat this simple yet savoury dish now I'm trying to find the picture to go with that basically it's a stew okay I've tried the sauce like and the pap. Basically it's made from maize and um I have the maize that they use which is iwisa. Basically it's not doing it justice. I needed to have sorry guys, but yeah. And then there's schnoik, which is a type of mackerel. Snake is effectively found in the ocean around South Africa and is one of the most popular fish consumed in the country. It is somewhat preca precarious to eat snake, although the taste is surprisingly good. Okay. Snake is typically served as a fish as a battered fish with french fries if you're visiting coastal regions it is virtually guaranteed that you will be served the day's catch fresh from the ocean it is a once in a lifetime experience and we recommend you make the most of it Like, I think I've seen this before and I've tasted it before. Um, yeah, no, this this looks so good. This looks good. I'll definitely try it with the fish that we have. It's mackerel, it's a type of mackerel. I, I've seen, I've I think it's the one I've tasted before okay i think then there is this one called snake is spelled s-n-o-e-r e-r-k no s-n-o-e-k Okay, snake. And then there is the peppermint crisp tart. Um, peppermint crisp tart is one of the most well-known dishes in South Africa. It is a no-cooked pudding layered with bread rolls, caramel treat, whipped cream, and dainty peppermint chocolate bars. Okay, 
it is one of the must try food items in South African cuisine. We can assure you that you will never find a better peppermint crisp tart anywhere else in the world. That looks good. This is quite easy to do. And um, I think the final one. Okay. This one is called Denning Blay, which is spelled D E W N I N G V L E I S. Okay, is another is another customary Cape Malay delicacy, which is considered as one of the most delicious South African dishes ever. It is good. It is with good reason that we say. Okay. Well, it's one of the best dishes ever. Denning blay is a lamb stew that is slowly and gradually cooked with a trace of tamarind and several additional flavors resulting in a trademark sweet and sour taste historically used for medicinal purposes. This dish is another common sight during the celebrations and festive season. If you could only try a single dish from South Africa, Denning Play is our hands down recommendation. So it tastes good. Let me know in the comment section if you've tried it before. Let me know. Okay, but yeah, that is basically that. And it brings us to the end of this video. And so let me know in the comment section which ones you have tried, which ones you love to try. And Deng Blay doesn't have a picture. There is no picture of it. But yeah. And that's that. Okay, let me know. So that's it, guys. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.